Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome to a brand new season of Hardcore Minecraft. We're going to explore this new seed in the 1.19 update, see how things go, see how far we can make it. My goal is to at least make it to 5,000 days. Last Hardcore series we did, we only made it to 3,000, so hopefully 5,000 is the number. As you can see, we did spawn in the Mesa biome. Kind of nice here. It looks like there might be some Badlands here and out. I'm going to actually go up here. looks like there might be some oak at the top of this. Yeah, there's oak right here. Perfect. And while I'm up here, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all so much. Feel free to join the Discord if you want to. I actually stream every single day on Twitch. We're going to be streaming a lot of this series on Twitch. And so if you want to join, feel free to join in on there any day you want. I try to stream every single day. Perfect. There's an azalea tree here. Okay, we might be able to find ourselves a nice little lush cave area. I'm not really sure. I, I don't know what I'm doing still using all of these. Let's make a crafting table. Let's get our tools in order. Now, I know I said I did want to survive 5,000 days. There's a couple other things I want to do. I want as quickly as I can to defeat the dragon. I also want to defeat the wither so I can get a beacon. I need a beacon, man. It's, 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 it's necessary. I also really want to find a mangrove swamp. I really want some of that new red wood, and I want to build a starter house with that. Looks like there might be some bodies of water here, so let's, uh, let's build a boat and go exploring. Well, it's not every day you run into sea pickles, so I'm gonna actually go down. Ooh, some dolphin. All right, there might be some treasure over here. I'm gonna run, get some sea pickles before I do anything. Don't want to run out of breath. Uh, that means is there coral over here? That would be kind of nice. Is that a sunken ship? That is a sunken ship. Let's go. It would be really nice if I could find some sheep or at least a village so I could get a bed because uh, I don't know when the nightfall is coming. It's uh, I could just hang out on the boat all night, but oh man, I really just kind of want to find a bed or at least a sheep. Alright, give me some good treasure over here. This one's extremely exposed. Oh no, there's nothing. There's no chest. We got one down here that at least gives us some moss. We got rotten flesh. You know what? I'll just take it all. I really could use anything. Potatoes, carrots, and wheat. I'll take it. I'll take everything I can get. Not off to a bad start. We don't have any stone blocks yet, but let's do some exploring. Let's find, try to find like a plains biome or at least like a, a spruce taiga. I want to I wanna get some oak and some spruce before we at least find the mango or mangrove did i just call it a mango oh my god got some beautiful landscapes up here cutting right through the mesa canyon that's awesome everything around here just it looks beautiful but i don't know if i want to call the mesa my home still so i'm just i'm on the search well sun's going down i have no food on me i'm just going to continue strolling through the ocean this is a nice little coral reef we got here looking good looking good but oh man yeah no food no shelter i'm gonna i'm gonna stick around in the ocean for a little bit and do some more exploring Oh my god, actually, wait a second, I got distracted by the shaders. There is a village here, perfect. But with the village also comes the skeleton. I have absolutely no, uh, I don't have any desire to go hang out with you, my friend. There are so many mobs out right now, let's just, alright, let's get out and make our way. Let's just, let's grab the boat and just sprint. Up we go, there's gonna be skeletons, there's gonna be creepers, but we just, oh, there's spiders, they're kind of, alright, let's just go to the, uh, let's go to the village as fast as we can. Creepers! Ah! Zombies! Ah! Skeletons! Ah! Okay, village, here we are. I found a house that I want to live at. Let's just be over here. Let's just be chill. Can I get in here? Can I sleep? Yes. Oh, I can't. There's a spider. What about down here? Can I come over here and chill in one of these houses? Can I sleep in here? Thank you, sir! All right, let's go. We found a village. Actually, not too bad. We could... I don't know if I want to hang out in the... If there's a biome next here, it does look like there might be a jungle over there, so... We could set up shop over here, maybe, but I'm going to explore this village a little bit. What's up, kitty? How you doing? I'm going to get a couple of these blocks and just kind of go along, see if there's anything cool here. Sir, I do not have patience for you. You have to go. You must leave. I don't have any weapons to fight you. I'll beat you with the pickaxe. I'll get you with the pickaxe, sir. Big on. I'm about to bleed this village dry. Give me all the pots. Oh my god, there is a temple right in the middle of this village. Let's go. I'm actually just going to go in from the outside. I don't want to risk any mobs being in there. I actually have zero armor. Uh, could you believe it? Yeah, I have nothing on. All right, we busted in. I'm taking this guy out, taking that guy out, taking that guy out. We're taking, let's just take all the TNT. We're taking it all out. Not even messing with this stuff. We're getting out of here. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some emeralds, got some gold. I actually will, I'll take all of this. Don't need the rotten flesh, though. Thank you very much. This guy's farming right into the pyramid. Way to go, dude. Way, way to go. Sir, I don't think you're uh, supposed to be doing that. I'll, I'll, I'll save you. I don't, why, don't you, why don't you get out of there? There you go, bud. Um, you're not, you're not doing too... You're not... Well, well, you're floating now, sir. This is, this is not okay. I'm just gonna go. A lot of people don't like doing this to the iron golems, but you know what? I need some iron, so yeah. This is, this is the way it has to be done. Don't look here, dude. Don't look over here. This is just the way it has to be done. It's honestly just, it's honestly for the best. I really need the iron, so let's just get rid of this. And that's, see, that's four iron. I can make an iron pick now. And there we go. Booyah, let's go, iron pick. 
Didn't even get stone, just went straight from wood to iron. Dude, I think I see, that is another temple in the distance. Let's go, dude. All right, I'm going out here. Starting off strong, let's head down and see what's in there. Okay, more gunpowder, riptide, I don't necessarily need that right now. I'll take the sand just in case. I kind of want the saddle though, I'll take the saddle. Gunpowder I'll take. Another golden apple, dude. This is, alright, this, this has been a gold mine. Today has just been one giant gold mine. Oh my god, and there's another village and an outpost. There's a pillager outpost and a village out here. What is, this is just non-stop entertainment. Do I want the food or not? Yes. Mm, let's get food later. I have, I have unlimited bread. This right here is just a raid waiting to happen. This is, it's just waiting to happen. Sorry guys, but I'm here to steal everything and kill your iron golem. And sorry buddy, I didn't mean to do it. I had to do it. Steering clear of this guy. I have zero armor and I, I don't want to deal with the pillagers. Let's, let's just steer clear. Dude! Okay, okay, we have a mangrove swamp. Let's go. Alright, I'm getting some mud. I'm getting some mangrove logs. Let's get everything we can get. Why am I swimming when I have a boat? What's wrong with me? Yes, dude. It looks so like the uh, those mud blocks. It just looks like darkness taking over, but I mean, that is mud. Let's go, dude. This is sick. I'm so excited. Yes. I, I, I've never even played the snapshots. I have no idea. All right, so let's grab... How, how, okay, we can just pick it up with a shovel. Let's just get rid of the sandstone. We have mud. Ladies and gentlemen, we have mud. Ooh, that sound that it makes is just... Ooh, I don't know if I like that or not. That's... I, I, you know what? You know, I, I do like it. This is nice. What is this block? Is it like root or something? Hold on, let's get rid of the moss for a second. Muddy mangrove root. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'll, I'll take that as much as I can get it. Let's go find the actual log. Where is, what is this? And what is this? What did I just do? What did I just take away from that? Well, I need... I should probably get some shears because these are awesome. I don't know what these are, but... Ooh, I see some log. Let's get in here real quick. Let's go. Give me some of this. Yes! Okay, we have the red log. Let's get as much of this as we can get. Or let's try to get some saplings at least and take them back to wherever we're going to call home. Ooh, don't even need shears. What is this? What is a mangrove propagule? What is a mangrove propagule? I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I'm finding it kind of difficult to take out the mangrove trees altogether. I'm, I literally found a beehive in the middle of this mangrove tree. Like, I, they, the bees couldn't come out until I excavated it here, but... But yeah, these propagules are all over. I don't know if these are actually the saplings that you need to plant to make a mangrove tree. I'll find out pretty soon. Looks like the bees kind of like the propagules, but... Um, yeah, these these are kind of hard to take out. Like, they're, they're all the wood is all scattered. So I just read that these propagules are actually the saplings, so we have a bunch of those, and we got a stack of the mangrove blocks. We'll come back for a lot more, but a stack is good for right now, especially if we have the saplings. But there's a jungle over here, we have a desert and a mangrove swamp, so there's a lot of biomes over here that we can uh, pull resources from, and man, this is beautiful. Walking through the mangrove swamps is just a whole other experience now. This is... This might be one of my, this might be my new favorite, if not one of my new favorites. Yo, is this a frog? I found a frog! Yo! Let's go! This is awesome, dude! I've never seen a frog in Minecraft before. What's up, my dude? How you doing? I'm definitely coming back here. I want to collect these guys. I want to make a frog farm. I'm definitely doing frog farm episode two. That's happening. Episode one, I'm making a house. It's going to be a good house. I'm exploring the area. Episode two. Oh man, we're making a frog farm, it's gonna be awesome, or just like a frog pen, like a frog house. I think it's gonna be amazing. Kind of feel never-ending. They really did a good job of turning the swamp into like a more, more like the jungle, where you're like, when you're down in there, you feel like you're just in the brush, like you're, you're just in the jungle, but now you're just in the swamp, and there's more frogs, man. Dang, these things are everywhere. I only see these white frogs, though. Are, aren't there more colors? Uh, there might be, I thought there were more colors of frogs, but for right now, I'm only seeing the white ones. This swamp is actually never ending. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it out of here. I feel like I've been running through here for like five minutes or so. I see some big body of water. Oh, savanna over there. Okay. There's some there's some coral reef fish over here. And uh, okay. Oh, there's another. Oh, it's like a copper frog. What's up, my dude? This looks like a frog that you could just build out of the copper blocks. That's kind of a cool looking frog. I like that one. Let's go ahead and go over here and see what pops up over the side. I just want to find a place to call home. Oddly enough, this is my first chance to come up and grab some stone. I can't believe I've gone this long. Oh my god, can I not jump? Can I not jump? I can't believe I've gone this long without grabbing any stone. This is, that's kind of funny. I went right, I skipped right past the stone age and went right into the iron pickaxe. Been in this world for a while now, and this is my first cow and sheep sighting. I, I'm going to come back for these guys. I'm not going too far because 
I'm going over here real quick. I, there might be some coal that I do see right there. And also maybe some iron that I could probably... I might be able to get some. There it is. Iron. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to get some resources from here. But we're kind of closing in on a spot that might be able to call home. Because I found some animals. Maybe we can close up on the beach. Th oh, we have spruce. We have spruce. Let's go. Okay. So we have spruce. We have mangrove. We have... I know there's some birch over there. That I saw, and then there's also... Oh, there's some more birch. We have some oak. There's also a beach over there. We might be able to do a, a mangrove beach house. Let's go, dude. This is good. Okay, so I found some pups, and you're about to be mine. Let's go. Oh, man, this is... Oh, what a great first... Ah, oh, what a great first couple of days, man. There's more dogs. Okay, so we got one. One over here. You're gonna be mine, too. Let's go. Oh, my God. Right away. Let's go, dude. Wait, is there another puppy? Can I get four dogs right here right now? I'm about to. Let's go. We are all dogged up. Dude, I got friends. I don't need armor. When you got when you got four dogs on your side, you do not need any armor. We ended up clearing out everything back here, and it does look pretty good. I actually ended up planting some more trees. We need some more birch wood and some more oak wood in order to build the building that I want to build. Uh, but yeah, we actually ended up clearing up everything all the way back into the north side over here. And now I kind of want to, I want to get some crops going. We need some wheat. We need some carrots. I want to get some golden carrots going for sure. As soon as possible. We also need some wheat because apparently you need to mix mud and wheat to make mud bricks. So uh, I got a bunch of mud, got a bunch of mangrove blocks. We're going to get started building, but I need to get a bunch of wheat so I can turn it into mud bricks. We also picked up enough iron to make a full suit. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we can make a full suit. Don't want to grab the helmet twice, but uh, let's put that there. Let's make some boots. I'm pretty sure we can get everything on right now. And we can. Perfect. Yeah, so we need we need to suit up. This is definitely stuff that we need on right now. Um, yeah, I, I'm perfect. I feel way better. I feel way protected. While I'm here, I'm also going to pull out some of the mud and see what we can do here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, so we get packed mud here. Nice. We can make mud bricks. What do we do? Just put it in four. Perfect. Oh my god. Alright, this is amazing. So let's get a bunch of mud bricks. This is what I want to make uh, the base of the house with. So I think this type of material is going to start to look good, especially with the mangrove wood. The red and the brown mud. The, the developers for this uh, this update, they definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, it's kind of fun when you see lapis so close to the, the surface. Like, it's, it's right here. I'm trying to break it with a hoe. What am I doing? It's so nice to just see lapis right away. Now I can start enchanting. Oh, and I'm not going to break that. Why did I fall in? Now, now I'm just trapped in here. Well, I'm um, going to be out of bread uh, for the meantime, for the foreseeable future, that is. Uh, I can eat some apples, but I'm going to need more sustainable food, which is probably going to be beef. Let's go at least find some sheep, some cows. I remember up here when I was chopping down trees, I did see some cows. Hold on a second. There's got to be some up here. Also, I didn't. It's kind of cool. There's frogs that pop up in the spruce forest and in other types of biomes, too. For some reason, I thought they would only pop up in the swamps, but there's frogs in the spruce biome over here. Look at this. This little mini taiga has two little frogs right here. This is awesome. They're just hopping around. Oh, and we got some iron. This is oh, what, a, what a good day we got going on. Since we got the materials now, I kind of just want to start off with a basic structure for a house. I don't know if we'll go out this way, but oh man, these mud bricks, when you place them, they sound kind of cool. Um, I don't know exactly how big I want this property to be, but I do want it to be kind of a large starter house. It's, it's going to be a big old beach house, a mangrove beach house, that is. Not entirely sure, but I might end up taking a lot of this sand out. Yeah, probably back here and replacing it with dirt so it's grassy in the backyard, sandy in the front yard. Actually, you know what would be cool if we put on the edges and then stripped it, the red wood. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is going This is going to be a nice looking house. We're pretty much covered up with diamonds now. Got some diamond tools also. So now we just uh, kind of need to get some iron for some lanterns. I do remember. Yeah, there's one over here, which might lead to more. We just need to collect some more iron to get some lanterns going for this home. Okay, we may, we found the ore motherlode. Look at all this copper down here. There's yeah, there's a bunch of iron too. Hopefully there's no drowned down here, but there's enough iron down here that I can I can probably get like 20 or 30, maybe 30 lanterns. This is this is kind of nice. And we got glow squids. Let's go. What's up my guys? How you doing? Yep. Okay, that is a drowned, so we do need to be careful. I am hearing some zombie sounds down here. These guys need to just steer clear. Why don't you just stay over there, my guy? Using the mud bricks, we did get a nice little blueprint going here for a building. There's supposed to be a mill here. This is uh, nothing yet, but it might be something. I hope that the mill can connect and we can walk under it. It might be kind of cool. Over here, I'm probably going to have a nice deck moving out. We might move our farm over here, or maybe the animals at least. Over in the back, I did make a back entrance. There is going to be an upper deck and a deck over here as well but since the dogs are already here i might actually wait a second let's just replace these i have an idea let's just make this an extension of the house just come out a little bit and we can just do a dog house over here that might look pretty good 
gotta run back and grab me some more mud. Some over here. Maybe I'm just gonna actually hop over to this side. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just take this down a level. Thinking cobblestone for the roof, or like the edge of the roof at least might look good with this color scheme. We got the kind of neutral gray with the, with the red and the brown here, and it's starting to look kind of nice. Trying to simulate an awning with all these campfires here, and uh, I'm gonna grab a shovel real quick. Can I make one real quick? I definitely should. I'm gonna take these out. I don't want to have the burning sound the entire time, but if I uh, can get unstuck there, go over here, bam. Perfect little awning texture here for anybody that hasn't done this yet. I'm sure a lot of people know about it, but I do this on pretty much all of my builds, and uh, yeah, I, I always think it looks nice. Look to my right, and I see a trident sticking out of here. It looks like there's a, there seems to be, there was somebody that was down here just throwing tridents everywhere, because we got this guy, he killed my boat. There's tridents all over here, but I don't see anybody. When I turn around, we're looking at the house. I kind of built the front entrance area with a little bit of an, an awning. The, okay, yep, you guys see what I'm saying. Ow, what was that? Where is that coming from? Oh, he's, it's right there. I don't even know if I have enough armor for this guy. Okay, I'm making a shield real quick. Let's put this in the offhand. Let's go in with an iron axe real quick. Buddy, I see you right there. What's up? You're done. Boom. Okay, oh, and we got a trident. Let's go. Let's drop the diary. Let's drop the rotten flesh. Trident. Let's get it done. Nice. Okay. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that we got the front of the house done almost. The entryway is pretty much done. I kind of made an entrance coming through this little sunroof area. And when you walk in, we're starting to do the floor. But this house is kind of starting to come together. Well, there's a llama in my house. And uh, please stop staring at me, my guy. This is uh, this is kind of weird. And uh, your llama's not, be not able to fit through my door, man. You should probably help him out. Sun's going down. This over here, it's kind of starting to look like a barn. So I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to do something about that. I really, I really do not want it to look like a barn, but the inside rooms are starting to take shape. We have like kind of a main room here. I have another main room here. I don't even have the second floor built, but all in all, it's it's gonna start coming together. Oak trap doors for the window sidings as usual. I pretty much do this on all of my houses. Now, since we got a basic structure down, it's looking decent. I kind of want to just see what the lighting is gonna change and see what that looks like, and it, it does make it look way better. On the sides over here, where it gets a little bit taller, I do want to pop up just like this, use the stone, the fence, the chain, and then throw a lantern right there. That is nice. That's really nice. Gotta add some trap doors to the roof like this, flip them up. Oh man, that was wrong, but flip them up like this, and it adds some nice texture. Then we're gonna add some leaves to get some color up in here. This frog made it so far over here. He has really traveled. He's going to make it really easy for us to get that frog farm going next episode. In order to decorate a little bit more on the roof, we're going to just put some campfires on the top. And we can actually just bring it out a little bit more in order to be able to hang some gates and some wall posts. This is going to actually just thicken up the wall a little bit. I might bring it out maybe even just one more, but we can actually hang lanterns from that too, and this just adds a little bit of more depth to the side of the house. Getting a good look at the land now. It's kind of nice. I like this big area. There's a lot of coal and iron up here, and even emeralds up there that I kind of... I'm going to have to go up there at some point. There's a lot of ores, but it's nice getting up here when I'm taking all the spruce out, seeing where we came from. Yonder is the jungle. We got this mangrove swamp coming in here on this little beach that we decided to call home. When I'm up here, it's making me think, I do need a chimney and maybe some windows like in, that I could put into the roof, and that might finalize the house. Other than that, it's it's all getting pretty much decorated. I'm used to using a lot of spruce, but the only time I'm bringing it out right now is basically just for the tip of this chimney. Ran out of iron again, so I am up here, I'm in the mountain, and uh, yeah, home is far away. There are a lot of mobs down here, I'm making a safe route over, and we're just climbing along with the dirt blocks, getting up to this iron basically as quickly as I can. To add a little depth to the front side of the house, we are just going to finish up this little mill here. And it's pretty easy. I like to just usually use two different types of wood here, or two different types of blocks, that is, and go up, actually surround them both with trap doors. So it's like a smooth transition here. This is going to look pretty nice. It's, it's, I've done this in a lot of long plays, and with these new mangrove trap doors, you don't really have to worry about which direction you're placing them because it's all kind of symmetrical. Last thing we needed to do was just beef up the side here, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So actually, before I... I'm just going to take a step back, and yes, yeah, so I just wanted a nice little side porch here, and I feel like that's going to be all right. We'll add another window on the side here and the side there, but this is actually pretty much done once I get that there. Like, if I take a look behind me, this house is 100% decorated. I don't... There's honestly not much more. There's not one spot that I didn't leave undecorated, and if there is, I'm, I'm sure someone will call me out on it. 
Now for just a little bit of exterior decoration, some birch saplings, and some flower pots. Never hurt anybody. What's up, Llama? How you doing? And we can finally set up a nice little... I think right here might be a good spot to call home for the campfire. I always like to dig out five little spots here, put a little bit of cobble or deep slate. I don't have deep slate right now, though, so we're going to put some cobblestone. And then we're going to go ahead and put the campfire down here. Have a little place to hang out. As I'm boating away here, I am starting to notice that it is kind of bare, and I noticed there's some lilacs across the pond, so I'm going all the way over here. I'm getting some lilacs. There's also some peonies over there. I'm gonna get some rose bushes too. We're about to flower it up over there. Yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. I want these now. I want all of the lilacs. Thank you very much. I'll take them all. And last thing I wanted to do was actually just go through and get a nice little path in here. And if you didn't know how to do that on the sand, just go ahead and replace the sand where you want the dirt or the path to be with dirt. And you can just go ahead and right click on everything. You got yourself a path in the middle of the sand. Now it's time to make the little mini boat dock. And this one's just going to be campfires and uh, logs of wood. Okay, well, that's not good. I just placed it in the wrong spot. Good thing, actually, recently I did find out if you place something in the wrong spot, like a campfire, it actually turns back into two charcoal. So you can actually double up as long as you have like an unlimited source of logs. You can double up on your campfires. There's actually an unlimited amount of campfires. You can just double them up all day long if you want to. Now for the pillars, we're going to just strip all this wood and make it look nice and red. And man, this is, I've never had a dock with these red posts, but this is kind of nice. Let's get some moss spread out here. Oh man, yeah, the moss just looks good. I hope I can get maybe, actually, I don't want to get it over here. Let's at least build the path before we do that. I want to get at least a couple of the, uh, of the azalea bushes. The flowering azaleas are what I really want, but it looks like we might not even get that right now. And let's get some sea pickles over here. Let's light up our beach just a little. I feel like our beach just deserves to be lit up a little bit. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It is so fun recording hardcore. We took like a three-month hardcore break since we last died in the 1.18 hardcore, but it is good to be back here. Guys, feel free to join the Discord if you want to. Also, feel free to join the Patreon. I really do appreciate y'all if you're in the Patreon. Guys, I also am going to be streaming from this world every single day if I can, as much as I can, so feel free to join there on Twitch. Also, the seed is going to be in the description down below, so feel free to look down below if you want to follow along and play here. I'll put the coordinates here as well. Last but not least, I do want to mention, feel free to throw some dog name suggestions out here. We got the four puppies right here that we need to name, so figured why not have you guys name them? And so let's throw some name suggestions out there. I'll take my favorite ones, and we can name these dogs as soon as I find some name tags. But guys, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate y'all. Take care of yourselves. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye.